Welcome to this educational module. We would like to share some practical tips to help you move better. Today I'm going to talk about gait festination, what it is, and what we're going to do about it. So what is gait festination? Gait festination is an involuntary speeding up of your walking with progressively shorter steps by definition. Because you have a forward pitched posture, it tends to throw your balance forward because your body is outside of its base of support, which are your feet. And as a result, you're trying to run to catch up to keep your balance, but you never do because your steps continue to get shorter and shorter. So what happens is you need an object or a wall or something to grab onto to maintain your balance. This video is just an example of what it would look like in more of an extreme case. Some people have gait festination, which is mild, and they are able to control it, and some people have it more severe. Uh, when you see this video, somebody that is unable to control it to this degree really should be using some kind of assist device and a physical therapist who specializes in Parkinson's would be able to help you determine your specific unique needs. So this is the video so you can see what it, what it looks like. I'm just going to play it one more time. It escalates towards the end, which is when the smaller steps occur and you just can't maintain your balance. So what are some of the things that we can do to help be more stable in this kind of a scenario? One of the things is practicing stop and go drills so that when you stop, your feet are staggered. If your feet are staggered, you have a, a bigger base of support in the forward direction, which helps stabilize you with that forward leaning posture. So this just gives a picture with the one foot ahead of the other. You're going to be more stable. And let me just show you what this would look like. So you just practice stopping and going, but when you stop, make sure that one foot is ahead of your shoulders. That will make you more stable. Practicing that will allow you to be a little more proactive. When you sense that you're starting to speed up, then you stick that one foot out and you stop and start over again. So when you stop, you want to allow yourself time to get your heels down so you restabilize yourself before you start up again. So this is the same stop and go drill, but take a look at the feet where you can see the heels drop down so that you're more stable before you start again. Stop. Go. Stop. You shift your weight go. back. So in essence, you're shifting your weight back onto that back foot. Another thing you can do is really work on trying to take bigger steps. If you can keep the steps large, then you are more stable. And so here you can see with this large step, the foot's way ahead of the shoulder and the hips. And simply by doing that, you're more stable. So here's just a picture or a video of just taking bigger steps, deliberately practicing that. Taking bigger steps can sometimes be difficult to do, but there are ways to help improve that. If you go to my website, www.parkinsonspt.com, you can go to the learning module and then go to walking. Walking to music is a little bit more high tech. So if you're not into the higher tech, Attention strategies are probably one of the more uh, common and more practical ways of helping you to take bigger steps. And then visual cues for people that are a little bit more limited to walking in their homes can be very helpful to take bigger steps. Another thing to consider are the shoes that you're wearing, the soles of your shoes. And typically running shoes, they have these ridges and these ridges can make you come to a screeching halt and throw off your balance, especially if you're walking towards the front of your foot. 
So when you're walking and you're starting to get into this festination kind of situation, these grooves in these shoes will bring you to a screeching halt and make you less stable. So what can you do about that? One of the things that you can do to reduce the ridges or the catching is you can change the sole of your shoe by bringing it to a shoe repair store. And what they can do is either put leather or put a less rubbery kind of sole that's more smooth so that when you're more on your forefoot, you're not going to be catching as much. But you want to make sure that this sole is behind the ball of your feet. So it's like at the beginning of your arch. That's how far back it should go. Or you could look around in your closet and sit, look at shoes that have a smoother sole and walk around in them. And if you're not sticking in them, then those are the shoes that you would want to use so they don't catch so that you're more stable. So we talked about the forward pitched posture that can cause festination. There's another posture that's not common, but it's called Camp Decormic posture. What you can see here the, the posture is forward flexed, but he's counterbalanced with his hips going back. So this kind of posture is actually more stable than the forward pitched posture. These individuals, in my experience, I've never seen them having any problems with freezing. It's more their walking is limited because of back pain. So here's a video of an individual uh, with this kind of posture, you can see that she's not accelerating. Her steps are good. And the fact that she's not rushing is a big deal for anybody. That just makes a difference in stability. So in summary, the forward pitched posture makes you more unsteady in the forward direction. And here are some tips to help improve your stability. First, you can try practicing the stop and go drills and see if that helps. You can stop with staggered feet, your breaking foot, sooner rather than later. So if you sense you're starting to festinate before your feet start getting too small, just stop with the staggered feet and see if that helps you. Longer strides may help your balance by keeping your feet ahead of your body for stability. So there's areas on my website that you can look at under walking and see which strategies would work for you to help you to maintain your stride length. Also, look at the soles of your shoes. If they tend to catch, look for shoes without ridges or a less rubbery sole. Again, just look in your closet for starters and see if there's any shoes that work better for you. And if not, look at the other options of either resoling. Uh, the front part of the shoe or uh, go out and get some shoes that will make you more safe. Now some people may need an assistive device for balance and anybody that has trouble with festination really should see a physical therapist who specializes in Parkinson's because they understand this kind of scenario quite well and they can help give you individualized tips to help you be more stable. Thank you. Thank you.